Do we have everybody in, Annie? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you for coming everybody to this afternoon's Wednesday, February 1st virtual license commission meeting. I'll be calling this meeting to order. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, Commissioners Jennifer Ewers and Helen Kahn. And this meeting is being Zoom recorded. Is anybody here for public comment? Seeing nobody for public comment, we will move into the short-term liquor licenses. Annie, is Melissa here? Yes. Yeah, I'm only, my screen is a little weird today, but okay. Um, item number three, applications for short-term liquor licenses. The Academy of Music Incorporated, 274 Main Street. This is a wine and malt license with a requested fee waiver for the following dates, March 3rd through 5th. 2023, 7 to 11 p.m. for the Back Porch Festival, Sunday, March 19th from 7 to 11 p.m. for the High Kings, Tuesday, April 4th from 7 to 11 p.m. for Guster, Saturday, April 8th from 6 to 11 for Best of the Valley Voices, Friday, April 14th, 7 to 11, Gary Gullman, Sunday, April 23rd, 7 to 11, Father John Misty, Thursday, April 27th, 7 to 11, Houndmouth. Friday, April 28th, 7 to 11, John Craig. Sunday, May 28th, 7 to 11, Jimmy Door. Friday, June 23rd, 7 to 11, Leonid and Friends. I think that's it. Hi, Melissa. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good. Um, has anything changed? Well, um, some timing has changed for the Back Porch Festival, so I was okay. hoping you could consider um, instead of three events, we now have seven. Um, so they would like to extend it from 1230 in the afternoon to 11. 11. Okay, so same days, just same more days. events in those days. Yeah. So, sorry, Melissa, is it 11 a.m.? 1230, 1230 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see, I see, okay. I have, um, I don't have any issue with that. Do the other commissioners? Okay. No, I don't, that's fine. No, okay. no problems, that's fine. Okay, Thanks. great. Anything else? Um, and then I, there was a change to a license that has already been approved. I'm not sure if this is the time to do that. We had a, an approved license for Matt Nathanson for February 25th, and the producer has added a VIP session where entrance to the hall would be at 445 and they requested a bar be open. Um, so if the commission would consider that, that would probably make the promoter very happy. This is one that we've already approved? Yeah. A performance so instead of from seven to 11 it would be from yeah. 4 45 to 11. an extension um annie do you need any paperwork on that or that's fine for mm -hmm. us to approve that today that's i don't need any paperwork except for it's not on the agenda um right. what was the date of the 25th february 25th um we have a, and this is up to the chair, but we have a um, special meeting on the 14th of February. Okay. We could put this on um, and make the change then. If I don't mind doing that. I do. I was going to say this for special business, but I don't want to load up. If if we can talk about this later, this is fine to put in because it'll take two seconds to, to address on the 14th. I mean, yeah, on the 14th, but we can, we can talk about okay. the rest of the meeting during new business. Um, okay. Are you guys okay with that, Helen and Jennifer? Sure, and that's because, and we're just not allowed to approve that because it's not explicitly on this agenda. Exactly. Agenda. Yeah. Sure. And that seems fine with me then. Yeah, but there's, you You don't need to worry about it, Melissa, it's, you know, there's- Okay. We'll, we'll I just- I can stay on for new business if you want. No, that's okay. New business is okay. just other stuff related to the okay. meeting on the 14th and timing. Um, okay. I appreciate but, it. Thanks. Yeah, this will be a simple thing. And I don't even need, I don't even think you need to be present on the 14th. Okay. All right. Just be an administrative item. Then anything else? Any other changes? I hope not. No, okay. I think 
be great. And then, then we're good until September. <laughs> excellent. Okay. Then I will make a motion to approve the applications for short-term liquor licenses and agenda item number three with the following amendment to the March 3rd through 5th back porch festival instead of 7 to 11 p.m. The event will be going from 1230 in the afternoon to 11 p.m. in the evening. Second. And also will approve the uh, fee waiver. Thank you. Second. And Natasha? Yes. And, uh, Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye. Agenda item number four, application for short-term liquor license for Click Workspace Incorporated at nine and a half Market Street for Friday, March 3rd, 2023, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. and Saturday, March 4th, 2023 from 3 to 8.30 p.m. This is uh, a venue for the Back Porch Music Festival and the license requested is the Wine and Malt. And we have somebody here from Click. Hi there, how are you? Oh, Annie, can you unmute? I unmuted. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Could you just let us know your name again? I know you've been here before, but uh, I... Mary Yun, Y-U-N. Great, thank you for coming. Um, do you wanna let us know a little bit about what you're doing for... Um... Um, we're just uh, another venue for the Back Porch Festival. It's the first time we're um, a venue for them. And they have... Uh, two shows on Friday and how many shows? Uh, four shows on Saturday. Okay. So, um, and the times are correct for when the door will be open to when we're gonna be closed down as the venue. And for, um, I know you've had short-term liquor licenses at your space in the past. Will you be setting up the same way? Or I imagine if there's live music playing that there might be some differences. No, it'll be the yeah. same as uh, the way we do Arts Night Out. The bar will be off to one location and we'll have seating out. We, we haven't finalized the, the layout. Yeah. I, I don't know how big the groups are that are coming right. in. So we're working right. on that now. Okay. No difference, okay. really. Great. And Helen and Jennifer, have any other questions? No, just a comment that I think it's so cool that the Back Porch Festival has spread all over town. I think that's- yeah. I know, and we have a great piano here. And I said, you know, you should put put acts here that can use this nice piano that we have. Nice. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Great location at Click. So that's wonderful. All right, then I think we're all set. I will all make right. a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license as outlined in agenda item Number four. Go I second. <laughs> and Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you, Mary. Great. Thank you so much. Bye. See ya. Agenda item number five, application for a short-term liquor license for Tommy Carr Auto Group, DBA County, Hyundai at 347 King Street, Thursday, February 16th, 2023, 4 to 8 p.m. for the Galentine's Day Sip and Shop event. And it is a wine and malt license requested. And yes. we have someone here from Tommy. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Kayla. How are you? Um, yeah, how are you? I think this is my first time having to apply. Normally we have like the bars or the restaurant do it, but um, this is our first ever Galentine's Day event. So we have over like 25 vendors coming all local to Western Mass, like the Pioneer Valley coming to set up a, set up a pop-up shop. Um, and it's spread, you know, huge. So many people are excited. We really wanted to focus on women owned businesses in the area, let them come out, really support them. Like how can we give back to them? Um, so we are obviously looking to get a liquor license for Mineral Hills Winery. They're going to be serving wine. Um, we're going to be buying the wine from them and they're going to be serving it. Um, so we're really just looking for that, but we, we have a really big turnout of different clothing boutiques and stuff like that. So we're super excited about the response, like the response and the reaction that we've gotten from the community. Sounds fun. Yeah. 
And it's um, February 16th from four to eight. So we do, obviously we have two dealerships right next to each other, Country Hyundai and Northampton Volkswagen. Um, we can put Mineral Hills at one location, whatever the application said from Autumn. Um, but yeah, we do have the, we're, the pop-up shops are between both locations. Okay. So the, any serving will happen and remain at one location. So people won't be going back and forth with. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We're going to put certain pop-up shops, like in one building, the other one will have maybe like the, the food and the, the wine. And then the other ones will be like clothing, skincare, all of that. Okay. That makes sense. Are there any questions from the other commissioners? No, not for me. It sounds great. No, yeah, no questions. Wonderful. Perfect. Then I will make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license as outlined in agenda item number five. Perfect. Thank you. And then we just come and pick that up. Annie. Yeah. Uh, yes. There's a motion on the floor. Can we just, can we? Oh, just... sorry. That's okay. Oh, just... second. Sorry. This has it not been seconded? Is, are you waiting? No, not me? yet. Thank you. Oh, second. <laughs> second. Apologies. Um, yeah. And <laughs> Natasha. Yes. Helen. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Thank you. Helen, um, I heard your second in my head, I swear. <laughs> in the morning, yes. I will send an email to Autumn and let her know when it's ready. And then um, whoever can come pick it up with, with a check. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, thank you very much. Great. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. See ya. <coughs> All right, item number six, public hearing on an application for a new all alcohol beverage license in accordance with chapter 109 of the special acts of 2016 as a result of the liquor license lottery. Paul and Elizabeth Incorporated, 150 Main Street and the proposed manager is Nathaniel Sustick. And hello, hello. how are you? Um, can you hear us okay? Thank you for having me here. Okay, great. There yeah, sorry, I'm at my son's basketball game. So if it's loud okay. here, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. Um, all right, I'm going to make a motion to open the public hearing. So, okay. Is there anyone else here to speak to this um, item of the agenda? I think it's just the five of us. Yes, Annie? Correct. Okay, great. Then, um, well, so all of your document, congratulations, by the way, for being the lucky lottery winner. We're very excited for Pawn Elizabeth's. Yes, um, we're really excited too. Yeah, cool. Um, this is your opportunity. We have all of your paperwork in order, but this is your opportunity to tell us anything you want to tell us about your plans for the license. Um, I think, you know, it's all kind of happened pretty fast. So <laughs> plans are in motion now and, uh, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm hoping to get, you know, obviously we'll see how long Massachusetts takes, but right. I'm hoping by the late spring to kind of have something set up and um, figure out how to incorporate it into our into our business and our business model. It's a little not like a our alcohol sales have always been pretty low. We're not like a high, not like Great. a drinking establishment per se, but I think we could do some really cool stuff and um, it's a really great, fun opportunity. To, you know, we'll be great for thorns too. Yeah, definitely. Um, Helen and Jennifer, do you have any questions or comments for Nate? No, just congratulations. I think, you know, on winning the lottery and I think it'll be a great addition to the, to the city. Yeah, that there. All right. Mm -hmm. Then in that case, I will make a motion to close the public hearing portion of this conversation. Second. Um, Annie, everything's in order? Yes. Your end? Yep. Okay. I don't really think that we need further discussion unless um, Helen or Jennifer has a new thought. No? Okay. No, no new thoughts. No, no new we're thoughts. excited for Paul and Elizabeth. So this yeah. will be great. Yeah. All right then. Uh, I will make a motion. Oh, sorry. Did someone say something? No. I, I just said thank you. 
Oh, okay. Um, then if we're all set, I'll make a motion to approve the application for the new all alcohol beverage license in accordance with chapter 109 as outlined in agenda item number six. I second. And Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Nate, I will send this the application to the ABCC tomorrow, and then um, we shall wait. Cool. Thank you so much. Excellent. Yeah. See ya. Enjoy the game. Bye. Agenda item number seven, approval of minutes, January 4th, 2023. Everybody all set with the minutes? Mm -hmm. Then I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as outlined in number seven. Second. And Helen, oh, Helen. Sure, yes. <laughs> Natasha. Yes. And Jennifer. Yes. Great. Great. New business. Um, I wanted to just chat about the special meeting coming up February 14th. And Sometimes when we see in the, and I'm not, I don't think this will happen because it was happening more like in the height of COVID when we were approving all these special license, all the um, outdoor licenses and everything. But I would love to leave this meeting as special for that public hearing as possible, as opposed to adding a ton of stuff to it. If people start coming in with extra little items that can just as easily wait until the March meeting, obviously the Academy is a different issue that'll take two seconds to do but if it's possible Annie I would love to not have extra stuff okay um there are three <laughs> short-term licenses that came in after the deadline um they actually came in this morning therefore um building eight I guess Bombix was late getting back to him um and, and they is, are, oh sorry go ahead they're at the end of February. How does the rest of the commission feel about that? I guess if we weren't having a special uh, meeting, then he would just be out of luck. Is that has this happened before that that there's been something that we haven't had a timeline to improve? I know I know that we had a lot of special meetings with the outdoor seating, like you were saying, but. Um, yeah, I think we've all we've always accommodated historically always approved anything that anybody ever needs <laughs> time wise <laughs> in terms of scheduling these extra meetings. Yeah. Um, you know, and I and at the same time, I don't mind doing it. I just I just want this um, next meeting for our time, our focus to really be on the agenda item that is at hand and the purpose of the special meeting which is to have that public hearing with Eric Schuer. Um, so, and just to express your concern, so is it, so sorry, Annie, I guess, first of all, it's just that, did you say there were three items that came up? There's, there are three licenses for, oh. for building eight. They're, gotcha. they're like three dates in February. They're all for the same thing. They're just on different dates. Okay. So historically, Annie, you're saying that even though folks missed deadlines, um, meetings were always held to accommodate the late filings? Um, there have been a few special meetings for one day licenses, not many. Um, and it's up to us. Yeah. You know, I just don't want it to be a bad, it's a bad precedent. You know, it's, um, I don't know, late is late. I agree. But we know that, you know, I don't, I don't know what the right thing to do is. Yeah. So, and what's your concern, Natasha, with having that? Um, adding um, that? I would pref honestly prefer just to have, you know, this, this is a special meeting that was scheduled for the purpose of having a public hearing to address unused licenses. My preference, you know, I brought it up because my, pre because I had a feeling that some stuff might come in. Um, I just would rather have the devote the energy to that one thing. It's an important meeting and mm -hmm. it should be our sole focus. And also people should understand deadlines and be getting their paperwork in on time. That's a, a separate issue. Um, I also don't want to be a jerk and 
not do something that will take us, you know, 30 seconds of our meeting to do. It's just a distraction um, that is unnecessary. That's my only reason. And also, it, you know, in part is to respect our time of, you know, we scheduled this special meeting for this purpose, for an important purpose. And um, I don't want to take advantage of any flexibility that we're, we are able to have in our work schedules in our lives to be able to do this a couple times a month if it comes up. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I'd be inclined. Um, I feel funny about not because we, you know, feel that they got lucky if we go ahead and do it. Um, but I also would feel funny having the ability to approve it because we happen to have the special meeting and saying, well, we're not going to do it when we know that it won't take long. I don't know if we can sort of send the message. I mean, and we can make a statement ahead of time saying that this is sort of a one-off, you know, and, and you were fortunate in this, but deadlines are deadlines. But since we are here, we, we can approve it. And if we could sort of keep the interaction with him to a minimum, because we know this is almost rubber stamping something that we've done over and over yep. again, you know, and just say that, I mean, in, in fact, I don't know. I mean, I know technically no one even has to come to the meeting. We can make the choice to approve something without them. We've just given people the opportunity to speak. So I don't know how, I don't know how that would be phrased to say that, you know, I, so anyway, I'd be inclined to like, go ahead and do it, making a statement that this is, you know, not our usual procedure. Um, but, and that we want it to take as short amount of time as possible, but I can certainly be overruled on that. Jennifer, do you have anything on your mind? Uh, I am, I'm the rule follower, but then I also understand the players. And I know that O'Brien completes his paperwork and wouldn't intentionally submit something late. Yep. Um, so I, I'm inclined to follow Helen's gut and just making a clear statement that we're sort of um, making this accommodation at a special hearing, but I also want to focus, like laser focus, um, yep. you know, the big issue at that special hearing. Yep. Okay. So that's fine by me then if we have um, the Bombix Building 8 licenses on that agenda, but I would, anything else, we'll have to wait until March. I, yeah, I wasn't yeah. planning on putting anything else. Yeah. I mean, if it could have, if they could have waited till March, I absolutely would have. Yeah. Agenda. Yep. And can we even, can you sort of say to O'Brien that, you know, explain like, yeah, you got lucky. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this. And uh, for him, he can show up if he wants, but we're like that. We won't even ask him to participate unless there's something that urgently needs to be said. You know what I mean? Just to, so we could just take care of it and move on. Is that, does yeah, I mean, I can tell him not to come if that's. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, we don't, I don't feel like we need him here of all of our applicants. I mean, we have all of our applicants are great and everybody's on the ball and doing what they need to do in their establishments for these um, short term licenses. Um, O'Brien really is the gold standard of it. So. Okay. And in that case, I can put, I can put those in the academy after the hearing so that yeah. whatever, however, you, or we can, I can put them at the beginning to get them out of the way, um, whatever, whatever works. Okay. I, I'd be for just getting them out of the way and then. I, I'd prefer them in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. I do feel strongly about that. Yeah. That works. All right. Um, has okay. has the notice gone out the next cert the certified it has yes okay all right and i know i should know this remind me what what time we decided for that i know i have it in here i'm sorry i think it was four because yeah four. jennifer was only four yeah okay. i noted four o'clock yep yeah uh is there anything else we need to know about the I don't know. Is there anything else we need to know about this upcoming meeting? 
that we can um, I don't, I mean, I don't think so, unless you have specific questions or if there's anything I can get you ahead of time. Um, if you want Attorney Seawall to be there, he'll be there. Um, other than that. And you know. if, if he doesn't pick up the letter, what happens then? Um, so this is how I found out he had, um, he had not, he had changed his PO box was because I asked attorney Seawald what to do. And he said, why don't you send him an email and just say, we sent a certified letter on such and such date. If you don't pick it up and you don't come to the meeting on whatever it's going to be, then the commission's going to go ahead without you and decide what they're going to do with these licenses. Um, and he said, like, you can just use that as one more, um, like, method of proof to show that we tried to get in contact with him. Um, and then right before I sent that email, that's when I went and looked and made sure that the PO box was correct and it had changed. So. Okay. Uh, so then with, with this go round, we only know when and if he shows up that he's received a letter or will, or will you No, once if, if um if he signs for the letter, then I'll get a return receipt back, um and it will show it will have his signature on it. Um, and it went out in Monday's mail, so um and I can track it online too to see if it's like if it's there waiting or if it's been signed. And is does he have an attorney who should receive notice as well, or that's on him to? That's on him to. Yeah. secure if he needs okay so if he doesn't pick up this letter doesn't sign for it or does sign for it but doesn't show up we can go ahead with the meeting yes. with the hearing yes okay but annie um, just one question but do you have to send him an email one more time do you have to yeah go if he if he doesn't pick up if he doesn't sign for the letter then maybe two or three days before the meeting, I will send him an email and just say like, you've been contacted a few times. We've sent a certified letter. You haven't picked it up. The commission's going to go forward with this hearing on the 14th with or without you. Yeah, that better answers Natasha's question of the order of events. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I think it's fine. I just want to be clear that we we can have the meeting still that you know it's not like him not showing up doesn't kick the can down the road further. And then people in the general public, if they're aware of the meeting, they can show up and make public comment, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's a public meeting. Like hearing, so they could get okay. all right. Yep. Any other new business? Not for me. No. All right. Then I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. And Jennifer? Yes. Great. Thank you, everybody.